Okay, today I will start with the next uh, topic that is uh, relational curves. And today we will, uh, because we have studied about non relational curve before, right? Bezier curve, um, sidewall curve, Wang Bao curve, and DP, DP curve, right? And today we are, I'm going to introduce you about the rational curve. Um, first of all, I have to, to tell you why do we have to study about a rational curve. Okay, this is what we are going to talk today. That is about uh, the rational curve of the non-rational curve that we have already uh, studied before, right? Mm -hmm. And... Um, Okay, I just told you that um, I'm going to say why we have to study about the rational basic curve. First of all, I would like to introduce you the first, I will recap about basic curve, right? If you could remember when we talk about basic curve, right? Basic curve can be written in, in terms of In terms of the right, the summation of Bernstein polynomial multiplied by the Bezier control point pi i from zero to n. This is a general form of the Bezier curve in terms of the Bernstein polynomial. So this is the first um. That is the first uh, equation, okay? And if you want to uh, define it in terms of the recursive algorithm, you may have to talk about, um, okay. If you want to find the point on the curve, right? You have to find B30 T, right? When B, uh, When B0i is equal to B i and B R i is equal to one minus T B R minus one I plus T B R minus one I plus one. Okay, this is a general form of the basic curve or recursive form of the base basic curve that we call the Kasacho algorithm. Okay. And the next one is the iterative algorithm is the iterative form for the recursive algorithm. Just in case that you have a big N, right? Um, iterative or recursive algorithm might take the overhead, right? So in order to reduce that overhead, we may have to use the iterative algorithm. If you could remember, it is uh, divided in the form that I gave you in the Excel file, okay? Do you remember? Okay, this is the recap about the Bayesian curve, and if you could remember, and for the side ball, wang ball, or DP curves, right? You can just simply change the uh, polynomials, and then you can get the curve, right? Okay, uh, this is the recap about the things that we have already passed in the uh, midterm exam, and um, I would say that for the uh, for that kind of the Bayesian curve or the, it, I call I can I will call it non-rational Bayesian curve. Okay, this is non-rational Bayesian curve. Non-rational means it's not a rational. Okay, and today we are going to talk about the rational because sometimes when you have a control point like this, right, and you can get only one or unique. Bayesian curve right, according to the control point like this. This one is unique. So if you want to change this a bit, right? For example, if I want to to draw the the blue curve like this, right? A bit. I want to change this a bit. Okay, I want to move this a bit to closer to this control point. It's not possible, right? Okay, maybe we can just simply move this to this, but the curve will be. Uh, just as what we expect it to be, okay? It's not um, what we expect to be, 
So in order to um to change the curve, okay, and, and and one thing that is important, if you change this control point, the whole curve will be changed. It not just move a bit up, right? The but the curve will be changed a lot. The whole curve will be changed. So this is why we have to use the non uh, the, the the term the new model of the curve that is rational curve, right? That I'm going to show you in the next slide. If you want to define a rational basic curve, we can also define it in term uh, for the, the nth and nth degree rational basic curve can be divided by CU, right? Summation of Bernstein polynomial multiplied by WI. Or uh, before we will talk about the basic Rational Bayesian curve, right? You have to define a set of control point bi, right? I from zero to n. Okay, this is a set of control point according to the. Uh, it is will be given from the rational Bayesian curve, and also we need to define weight as well, right? Weight will be uh, ref, uh, re related to the. The, the control point, we have with i, it will be related to bi, right? i from zero to n as well. If we have n control point, we have n number of weights as well. Okay, why do we need it? Uh, the weight, the weight can be defined. Okay, this one is uh, the curve, but the u i u can be defined as Bernstein polynomial B and I U or T, right? I from zero to N. And this one will be um okay. No, you don't have to, to define the weight. Weight is like this, okay. Okay, this one is the way. Right, and multiply. You have to multiply by this. Okay. So it's a, this is the general form of the rational basic curve. And also, if you want to define the sidebar, rational sidebar curve, you can just simply change the control point bi. Okay, right, and the weight. Mm -hmm. Why do we have to, okay. Uh, I would like to show you this remark. If you have WI, WI for all WI is equal to one, it will be non-rational basic curve. It will be non-rational basic curve if for all WI or weight is equal to one, it will be non rational Bayesian curve. If you substitute this by one, and then this is one, right? Summation of BI in U, right? Because it is a convex combination, the summation will be one. So the divisor now is equal to one, and WI is equal to one multiplied by one is identity. Right, so you can get the Bayesian, non-rational Bayesian curve, okay? When every weight i is equal to one. We want to define weight because if you want some or one control point will be influenced to the, the shape of the curve, right? You can change which from one to two, three, four, and so on, right? If you want to make it uh, the, the control point to be more if uh, more influenced to the shape of the curve, you need to change weight to be higher, to be higher. Okay, if the weight is higher, so B I together with this the W I, if the W I is greater, right? So the more info end of bi. 
about influence of BI. Okay, this is a way that we will use national Bayesian curve for curve modeling. Suppose you like um you are trying to model a curve, right? And if you want to change a bit, right? If you change a bit by changing the Bayesian control point, it will change a lot through the shape of the curve. But if you put the rational or the wedge onto this curve, right, and you change a bit, just only to the wedge, but uh, the control point remain the same. So the curve is will change gradually. Okay, the, 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 the curve will change gradually. There is the advantage of using the rational basic curve, and this is why it's, it's important. That's I'm going to talk about this today. Okay, this will be the separate topics. That, that is why I talk today. And when we talk about the rational Bayesian curve, right, we have to talk about the uh, Okay, this is a rational Bayesian curve, right? You from zero to I. Okay. And we can also write in terms of this, right? Rational, rational part, right? Normally, when you, you see this, like, this is control point, this normally to be the Bay urban side polynomial, but we mix this term up, right? We mix this term. We mix this term. Okay, I have to write like this, right? So we can get R, uh, okay, and R, uh, I and you can be divided by this, okay? And we are going to show you the property. It's here we come to the property of the rational Bayesian curve. I would say that rational Bayesian curve and, and non-rational Bayesian curve, they have the same uh, properties. First of all, it is non-negativity. Non-negativity means um, R I N is greater than or equal to zero for sure. So it, can guarantee the convexity of the curve and the partition of unity some for the Bernstein, uh, for, some for the polynomial will be one. Why? Why is one? Because, um, okay, if you sum up this term, right, I from zero to N, right? This is the divisor, right? And you sum up, above, right, it can be eliminate, right, one, one, right? So here we come to this one is one, right, for some of this, this uh, polynomial, okay? And then uh, the curve will be divided in the interval zero to one. Okay, this is general, okay? And if, okay, I've just told you that for our WI is equal to one, right? We can, we can come to the special case of rational Bayesian curve that is non-rational Bayesian curve, non-rational curve, okay, for short. And also, if this one is convex, uh, the convex combination, this one is a twin combination, so we can guarantee that this curve is also, or uh, uh, consume the convex property as well. What does it mean by convex how property? So if you have the control point, right, it, you can guarantee that the curve will lie inside the convex hull. Okay, and also we have the transformation invariance, right, under rotation, translation, and scaling. Okay, this is general. And in point into interpolation, this property is also, the same, right? C0 will be uh, at the same location as B0. And C1, when you substitute T by one, right? You can get the, the end point of this curve, right? To be the, the, the end point of, uh, of the curve as well. Okay? Okay, this one, a non-rational Bayesian curve, uh, a spatial case of rational Bayesian curve. Okay, I have already told you. And for the, the number eight item, right? We talk about uh, this one is the tangent vector at the point B0. And this one is a tangent vector of the point Bn. What of them are tangent vector? 
Okay, you can see that for the rational Bayesian curve property, they they are the same as the Bayesian curve property. Okay, the 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 property are similar. Okay. Okay, before we will go to the rational side ball curve, right? Uh, I have to say that if you want to draw a rational Bayesian curve, right? Uh, when we refer back to, to the, com the, the, the computational complexity of drawing a point on the Bayesian curve, the complexity is big O in square. Am I right? When considering the Dirkhasacho algorithm, right? We have to uh, calculate for the addition and multiplication for the non rational basic curve, and we come up with the complexity big O n square. Okay, it's quite um, high compared to, um, to what? Um, it can be faster, I would say that. So, and nowadays it's very fast when we want to calculate for the point on, for a point on the basic curve, right? I will say that if you want to draw a curve, right? If you just want to, to, to draw only one point, that is okay. But for the basic curve, if you want to make the curve smooth, you need to plot more than 500 points, right? So you have to calculate for at least 500 times. So it, um, it's not just um, n square, but you have to multiply by 500 points that you have to calculate for one, that's only one curve. But for a complicated object or com complex image, right? There is no, there is not just only one basic curve, but you may have to know, oh, maybe 10,000 curve at a time, right? You need a very high performance computer processing. And if you step up to rational basic curve, right? As you see the, the equation, right? It is in terms of the denominator and divisor, right? You have to calculate for the 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 denominator and the divisor. That means twice at a time, right? And the multiplication is also better than the normal uh, non-rational basic curve. So what you have to do is you may have to to find a way that will be easier or faster in order to calculate for the rational Bayesian curve. Okay, I have just told you that for the sidewall and wang ball and also the P curve, right? The complexity is big O n. Okay, for sidewall and wang ball, the complexity is big O n, except the sidewall curve. But sidewall curve, you can subdivide into two parts and then you calculate for each half twice. Okay, so it a bit faster, but actually it is big O in square as well, but it is faster when you uh, uh, separate it into half, right? If N is very high, right? So it ball is still um, more elegant than the basic curve calculation. The time complexity is um, is less than for the, the time of, for the basic curve, right? So this is why uh, when we have the rational basic curve, so we have to define rational side ball as well. Okay, in order to get the side ball, okay, actually you can draw the base or uh, the side ball like this. Okay, I've just told you that the side ball is the another form of rational basic curve, right? Except we change the burn side polynomial to to beta. If you could remember, the beta is the polynomial for the side ball, right? Beta i n t. Okay, you may just change this one. And for the wang ball, you can just simply change this to wang. Okay, so I'm not going to uh to show you the express, um, to show you the explicit equation for the side ball and wang ball, okay? You just keep in mind that you understand this, you can just simply substitute this burn side polynomial with side ball and all the wang ball 
polynomial right instead of this place okay so and then i would like to go back to to this one this one is the way maybe you are wondering right how can we do this to the to to obtain or to get the rational basic curve right in order to prove this we can use homogeneous coordinates before uh, that, I, I, I tell you that if you want to deal with the conversion from one model to another, like for example, if you want to convert from Bayesian curve or Bayesian control point into sidebar control point, you need to use the polar form approach. If you could remember, that is what I have told you, right? polar form. But polar form is very difficult to understand and difficult to prove as well. So I. Uh, omit to to talk about this, and I uh, suggest you to understand about the uh, monomial form uh, instead of poly polar form. But you know that um, polar form can be written. Uh, no, no, no. Can a uh, polar form can be used for uh, finding the rational curve as well? This is a proof of the curve, right? You know, multi-dimensional coordinate Bayesian control point can be defined by this. Okay, this one is a base here. Rational base here curve can be defined by W i b i, right? Multiply to each other and then divided by b w i. This one you cannot see the 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 divisor, right? But I write it in terms of two elements of the vector, right? W i and W w b i and W i W i b i W i right but if you write like this right it will be the same as this one will be equal to the bun ui bi divided by the bun ui okay just believe me I, I don't want to prove that but if you know you need to know how is uh how you how comes it like this right we need to go back to the homogeneous coin and prove for the polar form right but believe me that we can also write this one in terms of the basic curve, and we can also write this one in terms of the sidebar as well. And we can, when we can write like this, right? We can come up with the paper. This paper is rational sidebar curve. It was introduced by Hong Li Tian. He's my senior in the. He's now he is a doctor, right? But by that time, right, nineteen. Um, maybe 1998 or 99, uh, he published this paper, this paper about the rational Bayesian curve in order to show us about the polar form approach to the sidebar curve. And the result for, for this paper, you can get, um, yeah, by the means of polar form approach, right, you can get the rational curve, a rational curve, which is the sidebar curve, okay? Can be obtained from the wage and control point of another model, and this one is uh, the 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 key objective of this uh, paper. The relationship established in this paper allow one to go from one model to another. It means that to con you can convert from rational Bayesian curve into rational Bayesian curve, right? By using this paper, right? And um, because it's very old, right, this paper, so I can just get this, um, some parts of this paper and then I capture it into this one. Okay, this is a rational base, uh, relationship between the rational base here and sidebar curve, right? If you want to, to know, by Hong Li Tian 1998, okay, and this one is, uh, can be proven by using the polar form approach. Okay, you can you can have the wedge part, and then you can have the control point part, right? Right. This is um the formula for the relationship between. Or if you want to convert from base to side ball or side ball to base here, this one is to convert from side ball to base here. Side ball is V, right? Side is two base here. But in the real world application, you need to convert from base here to side ball. Why? Because if you want to uh, to get the better method in order to show or in order to calculate for the rational base here curve, 
uh, if you know how to convert from base sphere to Said, you should convert from base sphere to Said and use Said ball polynomial and use Said ball um, calculation for the control for, for the points on the curve on the Said ball to 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 calculate for the curve, right? Mm -hmm. But this one is quite complicated. So I, uh, this one is the, the conversion from um, Bayesian. This one Bayesian control point to Wang Bao control point. Okay. And you know, to make it easier, so I will show it in terms of these tables, these two tables. This table is a uh, convert from Said ball to Bayesia. This one is from Bayesia to Said ball. Okay, you can also use this table in order to get. Okay, maybe you you cannot catch my word, right? So I will show you here. Okay, this this uh table is the conversion from rational Bayesia to rational Said ball. Right. Why do we need this table? Because if you want to calculate for the rational Bayesian curve, normally you you have to use what Bernstein polynomial. No, we not use this. We use the Castle Joe algorithm in order to get the rational Bayesian curve, right? But this one is quite um takes long time, right? So maybe if it better that we can convert from rational Bayesian curve or Bayesian control point, control point into rational side ball control point. You convert this right, and then you use the algorithm that is faster to convert into a rational side ball curve, right? And this curve will be, the shape of the curve will be exactly the same as rational ball curve. Oh, sorry, rational Bayesian curve. That would be better, right? That would be better. Okay, this is the idea that I, okay, I, I, I suggest, um, Hong Li Tian suggests in his paper, right? But unfortunately, in 1996, right, Wang Bao polynomial, and you know that, right, 1996, right, Wang Bao polynomial has been established and with the linear time computation. So here we will, instead of using the rational side ball, we will use rational Wang Bao control point conversion instead. Okay, that is what we are going to talk about. There is a rational Wang Bao curve. Rational Wang Bao curve. Also, it can be written in terms of the homogeneous coordinate as well. Okay, and then I will skip. Okay, we also have the rational Wang Bao curve, right? This paper has been published by me in 2001, right? Okay, this one is just like uh, to, um, to imitate the rational side ball curve, but this paper is much more. Um, useful because Wang Bao Wang algorithm is big O N, right? So in order to draw the rational Bayesian curve, if you convert to Wang Bao curve first, you can get the better solution, right? And also I provide you about the relationship between the rational side ball and Wang Bao curve as well. This is the formula to convert from Bayesian, oh, sorry, to, from Wang Bao to Bayesian. And this formula is to convert from Bayesian to Wang Bao. This formula is quite important, but it is very difficult to understand that if you miss typing, you will get the wrong program. So I will suggest you that you will use monomial metrics that would be better and clean. Right, it will be elegant more than this formula. But this one is, if you flash back to uh, 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago, you may have to use this formula. But nowadays, you don't have to use that. You can use monomial, that is easier. Okay, 20 years later, everything is faster and easier. 
And also in this slide, I also provide you the table of the conversion between Bayesian to Wang Bao and Wang Bao to Bayesian, right? Once again, it's a case of the rational curve, okay? And then we will just focus on the conversion from Bayesian curve into Wang Bao because, because what? Because Wang Bao is linear time complexity. So if you convert Bayesian to Wang Bao just one time, right? Wang Bao control point just one time. Even it is a big O and less to the power three, but you can just uh, compute it but only one time and then maybe 500 times for calculating um, the control point, uh, the, 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 the points on the curve, it would be very, and fa very, very fast, okay? So this is why we, this one, this table is important, okay? Um, we have already talked about the rational Bayesian curve, rational Wang Bao curve, rational Said Bao curve. The next slide, I'm going to talk about the DP curve, a rational DP curve. Um, but up to now, do you have any questions? I think, please.